What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. I was just about to tell a funny story about falling down the stairs. Because um, I was just talking about how I had to run up the stairs and then run back down the stairs to give something to the postman. And then I came back to the stream and I'm like, I'm like, oh, God, stairs are fucking exhausting. And then Stormrix said I fell down the stairs in my house earlier this year. Last year, or about a year and a half ago, I fell down the stairs in our previous Fort Collins house. And... <laughs> I'm on this top of the stairs and I try to go down and then I just, I, something happens and I slip and I'm just like, tick, 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 tick. and I, the whole way down, I'm like, ah, 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 I'm just like screaming ridiculously at the top of my lungs. No one comes and helps at all. And I see a text, me a, a, a Facebook message in our group, in our house group chat. And Katie's like, is Frank okay? I'm like, thank fucking God, like, I didn't really need help, or there wasn't, like, I'm glad I survived falling down the stairs, because, like, the most I got was, like, fuck, someone's screaming in the house, there's a bunch of loud noises, let me send a group text to make sure he's okay. Like, I'm glad it wasn't, like, an emergency where I needed to go to the hospital, and, like, I needed to really be like, no, I'm not okay. <sighs> Needless to say, it was very funny. Also, in other news, if you guys have not seen, my Innistrad Horror Cube goes up tomorrow. It will be running on Magic Online from October 18th through November 1st. I also told Ryan and the guys at Daybreak that they should have showcase cubes up for two weeks instead of one. Because I feel like one week, with how intricate and like kind of like nuanced that that showcase cubes can be one week is just not enough time to really take advantage or like to learn a cube um so that's why they're running mine for two weeks i'm not sure if it's always going to be like that but i think they like the idea so it, it could and that would be sweet especially if i had an impact and, and you know then then creators just get their cubes up for two weeks instead of one like that's kind of cool This reminds me of that time. I think I'm taking Crucible here. Like, a lot of these cards don't go super well with Mana Vault. I love Cruel to Manum, but that doesn't go well with Mana Vault. These lands aren't great. Whereas Crucible lets us take some, some cool things that might come around. Like an Oko. You know, you could just take an Oko. Because it's Oko. This reminds me of that time we were at Elk and Danza's place and Frank started choking and we all thought a wave he made with his hand meant he thought he was okay, so we kept watching TV. <laughs> I don't remember that, or I vaguely remember that. Yeah, we're just taking Oko. Oko is basically power. But yeah, apparently like whenever I'm in a situation of danger, choking, falling downstairs, no one is super concerned. They're just mildly concerned. And they'll try to help, but only mildly. They won't inconvenience themselves. So I really got to look out for myself, I think. I do like a Jetmere's Garden with a Crucible. This pack is kind of meh. Lorien Revealed is fine. I don't know if it's exciting. Like Zealous Conscripts is good. Hallbreaker Horror could be fine. It's, I'm actually not super excited about Hallbreaker Horror. I don't even know if I want it in my cube. The reason I put it in my cube was because it's a sweet combo with Gilded Drake. Like, you can use Gilded Drake to take their best creature. I'll take the Jetmere's Garden. I think it's just better than Steam Vents in this situation. More, more um, fetch lands can get it, and it's still one of our colors, along with a red as well. So, there's a Ramunap Excavator excavator let's take that guy and then we have two of the returning components and that should keep other people off these lands too so get out of here bug off i do like sylvan library especially if we got a like a card that lets us play lands from the top of our library what i was saying is gilded drake and hallbreaker horror is a combo you can actually steal their best guy with gilded drake then cast any spell and bounce your own gilded drake and just keep doing that to take their best guys so that's kind of sweet. I'm going to take Sylvan Library here. If Islet, Grove, or Ancient Tomb comes back, I'll be very thrilled. I'll take Torrential Girl or Bone Crusher as well. So 
That is a Rafelos. There's also an Omnath, and Jetmir's Garden is pretty decent at casting that, and we are going to work around lands. Let's take this Omnath. <sighs> Utopia Sprawl. Honestly, I don't like this Ren and Realm Breaker, but with Crucible and Ramunath, I think it's probably not terrible. <coughs> uh, yes, both of the Merge Angels are in the cube. I would never just put one. That's It's almost insulting that you asked me that, I'll be honest. I'll be like, oh, I'll put Gisela in here. No Bruna, though. <laughs> that would be terrible. I'll take this guy. It would be quite horrific. That's true. Yeah, it's meta horror. I'm like, would you say you're horrified that I didn't include both Gisela and Bruna? Fantastic. Mission complete. Uh, let's take Outland Liberator. I like that better than Scavenging Ooze. Don't care about Warcrafting. Squeer Firebolt. Uh, the cube starts tomorrow. 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 Uh, we're going to take Savannah here. It's just a better land than Sunbaked Canyon. And even though this sacrifices, I still think I'd rather just have the Savannah to cast our cards. I like Green Sun. It does get Omnath, Ramunap, and Outland. Sure, I'll take a Green Sun. Don't really like City of Traitors. We'll take a showdown of the Scalds. So we're kind of like Teamer Splash White or Bant Splash Red. Oh, that guy's good. Oh, Waterlog Grove came back. Wonderful. Rafelos. 15th pick Rafelos. Why does robsmom.com not work anymore? I'm really sad. That's it doesn't work. Villy, I think I think Villy stopped paying for it, which is, I mean, makes sense. Like he he shouldn't have to pay for it forever, but like, man, it was so funny that that redirected to. <laughs> that clip. Uh, was it Kerwood who paid for that domain? No. What do we got here? Windswept Teeth? That's perfect. Renin Six? That's perfect. I thought it was Villy. Uh, yeah, I think we take Windswept Teeth. Hope Renin Six comes back. It does sound like something you would do. It would have been five years ago. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yes, excellent. Uh, exploration. So look, I'm not a big fan of exploration. I, I went over this in the review that I did of my friend Matt's cube today. So check that out on YouTube. And also if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to follow and subscribe. Those are not two things you can do on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe. You follow and subscribe on Twitch. They give you two different options. YouTube, you just subscribe. It's free. I like sailing to the West as well, but not if I, not if they're going to draw cards, don't draw your little cards. <clears throat> I'm taking this just because we have Ramunap and Crucible here. Okay, that's the reason. Don't think it's something else. I do like Hex Drinker. I like Chandra, but I don't like having uh, a double red card here. <laughs> See, the thing is, the more you say that word, the more likely you're going to memorize the spelling if you haven't already. I'm going to take Hex Drinker. I think Hex Drinker is just a beast. But actually, it's a snake. Mm, yes. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know the Dominarian zoology, I see. Mm, yes. Yes. <sighs> 
This could be a Golos deck. Are we a Golos deck? Are we a Draga Tree Speaker? Are we a Rafellos deck? Look at our look at our mana base right now. Our, I mean, not our mana base, but like the cards we have. Jeez. Vintage is a Golos format, but I don't think we just we just don't have the hits for a Golos right now. We also would have to we'd have to make room for a black. I'm just taking Draga Tree Speaker. I know it's boring. Now I'm taking a Tali, because that's not boring. Stop, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I think a Tali's good. It's better than Ulamog here. Unless we get a channel. We'll probably get like 15th pick channel, I, I bet. God, is it Ulamog? And maybe the Golos comes back? Golos is never coming back. Oh look, Frank is trying something new and taking a Tali. Hey buddy, listen. Look, I'm taking the Ulamog. Bird of Paradise, and a Basaju, and a Taiga. Hmm, juicy pack. I think it's gotta be Basaju. Or Taiga. Taiga is a green red. So yeah, we're taking Taiga. Taiga is a forest, so it, it doesn't hurt our Rafelos, and it's also a red source that we can search for with windswept teeth. Eh, it just it just feels better. Someday I just want to see you pick a lightning bolt. <clears throat> well, you keep crossing those fingers, my friend. I think it's just a questing beast here. I like Eternal Witness. We have enough ramp. I think we're just taking the beast. I got the beast in my sights. That's a little a little Hearthstone meme. I don't have the chat up. That's sad. Let's put the chat up so everyone can see the chat. I'm going to take Kogla. Oh, Wall of Roots. Wow, the chat. No one no did anyone mention that? Why I'm sure you already explained this, so why is the chat not visible on the screen? A little mind meld action right there. Well, all the YouTube viewers are going to be like, well, now I'm unsubscribing because you literally just denied me all of that sweet chat content. <clears throat> I think it's Wall of Roots. Oh, wow. Salem to the West came back. That's actually wild. I'll take a, I'll take a late, late sail into the West. I'll sail late. Horizon Canopy. The Golos came back. Okay, that's why we took Ulamog. Because I'm like, there's a lot of things that can go with Ulamog, but I also want something big to hit off of Golos if we end up with the Golos. I know you guys are here for the chat. You don't have to tell me. I know all about it. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I love how when you're... Well, I get the impression, yeah, that's, I think that's my, just my natural impression, is that the YouTube's always just yelling at me. Hey, why'd you do this, stupid? Hey, didn't you see this? Oh, wow. Hornet Queen and Besage you? I'm going to take the Hornet Queen. I'd rather have bigger threats here. Plus, we already have Outland Liberator, and I bet we have another one if I look close enough. Doesn't look like it. Kogla. We have Kogla. What do we got here? Black Lotus? Sweet. Love a Black Lotus. Let's get it. I don't see it, though. Hmm. This is awkward. Is it not there? No, I guess not. Weird. I could have sworn there was a Black Lotus in this pack. Well, there is a sneak attack, <clears throat> which goes well with this this Moggers. There is also a Leovold, which goes well with this Sail into the West. I think we're taking the, the Sneakers. Nothing else in here is super exciting. I can sneak. There's another Moggers, but there's also an Archon of Cruelty. This Mog is not as good. You want the Annihilator from the attack, and just like you want this Arcane of Cruelty's trigger from the attack. 
I think we're taking Archon of Cruelty here. That card is beautiful and busted. Hmm. So you guess Chariot is just very good. I'm going to put this guy over here because on, on, like, a lot of times you just want Sneak Attack to be a 5 drop. Thank you. Oh, with Chad Bradbury. What's up, my dude? Appreciate the resub, buddy. Of course, another draft where we took both Crucible and Ramunap Excavator and did not see Titania, Strip Mine, or Wasteland. Or Fast Bond. So, that's fun. We'll take Chariot here. We have no Gaia's Cradle. <clears throat> so it's not like we're, um, it's not like we're, we're looking to, what was the card? There was a card in the last pack that would have went with Gaia's Cradle. That I'm thinking, that like, that like, which is the reason why I didn't take it. I guess this just Woodfall Primus here. Oracle of Moldiah. There was a crop rotation, but that's not exciting. Oracle of Moldiah. Being able to play two lands a turn feels nice. Proving Ground is also nice because it gets us a black for Golos, and it also is another forest for Raphelos. I think it's actually Proving Ground. Oh, Augur of Autumn is nice. So is Stomping Ground. Again, especially for Sneak Attack. Well, I think we're taking Crucible, Ramunap, and Exploration out. I don't think they do anything for our deck. Same thing with Safekeeper. Oh, we do have a Mana Vault, which is nice. Yeah, I'm just going to take Stomping Ground. I think I want to maximize my red sources that are also forests. <clears throat> so now, like, I think all four of these are pretty good hits for uh, Sneak Attack. That is a late Tinker. I do like this Nissa. Garrick's also fine. I think this Nissa is pretty good with both Rufellos and Mana Vault. I'm going to take this Nissa. There's a Dark Depths. That's pretty wild. I'll just take Devoted Druid. So unfortunately, we have no way to search for blue right now. We have Waterlogged Grove, Windswept Heath, and then no source that gets a blue. Uh, I don't feel like our mana base is consistent enough to get Field of the Dead and actually make things with it. Plus, this just feels like a deck where I don't want a colorless land with Rafelos, Omnath, Sneak Attack that wants double red, triple green Kogla, triple green, triple green, quad green maybe. You know, like it's just I, like the, the turn I draw. Uh, Sakura Tri Builder is interesting. So is Leovold, and we have Green Sun Zenith. Yeah, Ren and Realm Breaker. Actually, Ren and Realm Breaker taps for any color. That's not terrible. That count is for today. Shua Garner donated like 10 subs. Oh, uh, uh, can you can you convince me? Probably not. We'll just take Plateau because it's a windswept heath searchable land. It's a late land world. I gotta sneeze. Fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just take land world. Oh, escape to the wilds. I wonder if that's better than showdown here. I think it is. I think we're more red than showdown. Uh, I'll take a Tamio. Don't love it, but I'll take it. Oh. Oh, Augur of Autumn is a wow. That's fantastic. And Garrick. Oh, geez, those are some great fourteenth and fifteenth picks. Oh my God, what are we, what are we even doing here? Okay, well. I think we can go 16 lands with Mystic, Tree Speaker, Elf, Mana Vault, Devoted Druid, Sakura, 
Walliver Trefellos. That's my theory. All of these lands should be playable. Put you here. Man, I'm not sure what to cut here. Is Omnath just too cute? It doesn't feel terrible with Green Sun. All of these cards feel good. Am I crazy? But I need four cuts. Oh my god. I like Tri Builder because it does get island <clears throat> if we need an island for Oko. I mean, I should be able to, theoretically. We have this. What well, is a blue source, you know? God, almost, I almost feel like cutting the blue. Like, our mana base just doesn't support blue. But then again, like, we do want a blue source anyway for Golos. So, like, I feel like we want Golos. I feel like we want Oko. Maybe Omnath is the... The weakest link. It's the one of four cards. Like, I'm actually not even sure how we have this many cards to cut. Do I cut green sun zenith along with Omnath? Possibly. I think if we do that, we can cut Sakura Tri-Builder. I think it's weaker than Wall of Roots, Outland Liberate. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's better than Wall of Roots. Two more cuts, huh? I do like Running Realm Breaker letting all of our lands tap for any color. That's really good for, like, sneak attack. But then again, we only need Oko. Like, we have no more white. God, it's still worth playing, though, just because it, like, it it's good for Golos later. Like, we went from Exploration, Sylvan Safekeeper, Crucible, Ramian App. To like just mono green Rafellos. I don't think we need Ren and Realm Breaker. I'm never impressed with it. I don't think it's great. This is 25. I am also stoked about my cube. You guys can check out the article. I want to actually, I'll post it in the chat. So do I make one more cut or do I just play 41 with 16 lands? These are the questions. I'm leaning towards 41 with 16 lands. So we'll play both of these because they're just, this is just better than a mountain. This is just better than a forest. Yeah, all of these are playable. And like one island that we can get with Tri Builder? God, it seems. Oh, we I guess we still have Oko. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's still worth it for Oko. Like, Oko doesn't need to be played on turn two or three to be really good. I do wish one of these was a Bird of Paradise, but what can you do? Wow, it wants us no red. That's interesting. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, how many red? One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably one red as well. Now, we don't actually need red. We can search for it with, we have Taiga, Stomping Ground, Windswept Heath. <clears throat> I guess we want to get it with Sakura Tribalder though. Yeah, we do want a basic, I guess. So this is 16 lands. Yeah, I'm just going to run it. This is going to be a weird configuration, Thank but you. MTG Pyro with the two subs. <laughs> God, does the, does the giving ever stop? Thank you. Really appreciate it, buddy. A sneaky breaky. Oh my, I don't know what that even means. I think Ophelof is... I think he's having a stroke. Fifteen five, yeah, it's a it's a solid it's a solid creature for sure. Oh, see, do you want an increment of five on the goal? <laughs> That's like something Badger used to do. It would be like, my subs would be like 301, and he'd be like, nope, can't have that. Gotta go to 310 or something, 320. Like the OCD wouldn't allow it to be uneven. Oh, or like, or donations. It would be like, you know, $312.14. And he'd be like, oh, that's driving me insane. <sighs> It's too bad your friends aren't OCD about rounding to an even thousand. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, on the draw? Sure. Oh, beautiful. Wonderful. We're going to play this first because if we draw a non-tapped land, then we just don't have to take two, so. Thank you. Huh? That is an untapped land. All right, so they have a Bloodstained Mire and a Celestial Colonnade. Do I risk it and actually try to level this guy up, or are they just going to straight murder it? <sighs> That's the question, isn't it? I guess we're trying. Yep, never fails. All right. Good times. Wow, it failed. Bananas. B A N A N A S. What? Thank you. Okay, it's all happening. This is wild. Okay, MTG Power gifting two subs. Now it's at 18. Interesting. The Thank AMC, you. thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what's going on. I can't keep up with this. <laughs> thank oh, you. Lord. Okay. Good 20. Solid 20. What did they get? They got a plateau. I too have a plateau. Thank you. Yeah, you know, not currently, but it's there. You guys are ridiculous. Thank you so much. Are they going to Wrath of God? That would be sad. 
palace jailer. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. I only have five man. I guess we can Golos here. Golos does not put us that close to being able to do anything else, though. Like, we go from five, then we go down to four because we're not netting a mana. We're just using the druid's druidity. So next turn, with the land Golos pride, we have one, two, three, we'd have five again. Which isn't great. We're also missing at least a blue or a black. If we have a, if we get a black, we're missing a blue, obviously, and vice versa. Like, I think we just chariot here. Wow. I will. <laughs> Dear Jesus. It has been a minute. I will keep. Chariot is cool. I think that's what we're leaning towards. Yeah, that's fine. Until they decide to Wrath of God the board, and then we have no, no recourse for getting the monarchy from them. <laughs> this is what Stuart just posted in the chat. When he said, who is gifting you subs? Me. That's who. I wouldn't say you gifted this to me. Because that's just a nightmare. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go to the next game. I, I like why even play this out? This is absolute trash. Like fiery confluence destroy my whole board. Fantastic. Land? Great. Wall from library, yes, correct. Wall plus library, yes. Nailed it. Yep, that's pretty good. Are they going to tap Mock Sapphire and Sack Treasure to Vendillion click us? Yep, of course they are. Obviously. Uh... Having a good time, having a good time.
what if I gifted you a magic sub? I don't even know what that means. Oh, then you sent a link. So I assume it's just a sub. So you're just being a little rascal, I see. Are you saying... I don't even want to engage in this conversation. I'm sorry. I love you guys. You're just being ridiculous. It's magic. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think I've submitted my deck. So I was the I was the fool that everyone was waiting on. All right, let's see if we can Oko on turn three. Let's go get Zeotora's Proving Ground. I'm the problem. It's me. Walk, please. This is a family chat. Interesting. Fellows, well, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That is not a Rafellos. I feel like I'm hitting the button and it's like not registering for me. I know it's not, I know that's, I know it's got to be in my brain, but like I feel like I, I hit okay to go to the draw step and we didn't go to the draw step. And I do feel like I submitted my deck, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm just crazy. What are you going to do, play Oko next turn? No, you stupid fuck. You're not going to play anything. Okay, you got me, I guess. Perfectly timed as always. It's not a hard choice. You just take the Oko. Congratulations. The pro play was made. Uh... What do you think? Rafaela's going to survive? Feels unlikely. I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Pro play and pro play accessories. Yes. Yeah, make sure you cancel his judgment my permanent. Heaven forbid I was able to check notes, cast a spell. That would be atrocious. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to play Goldspan Dragon. Kill Garrick. Attack for three. Never mind. <laughs> I've watched your content before. Cool to play you. Yeah, great, man. <laughs> Fantastic. Always a good time, man. I don't know. It's weird. It's such an awkward thing. Like... You're obviously just playing the game, right? Like, you're not doing anything inherently wrong. But it's really hard not to be absolutely demoralized and frustrated when you literally just don't fucking get to do anything. You're gonna play Oko on three. No, I'll just kill it. You're gonna play Rafellos. No, I'll just kill it. You're gonna play Garrick. No, I'll just kill it. You're gonna play two mana dorks. No, I'll just kill them. Like. Okay. <laughs> like. 
All right, you got me. I was a fool to try and play creatures and spells. Yep. Hmm. Ship this guy. Ah. <sighs> Stormrix, good luck at your legacy event, buddy. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. Can't get yourself down if you already think lower yourself. Strategy. All right, so we have a red. We kind of want a second red. We have a black. We have a blue. We don't have a separate red, though, so we'd have to use this for black, this for blue. Let's go with second red. Four drop, three drop. Playable card. Beautiful. That's the ticket. All right, so another drawing finale. They're going to go land, land, finale for 300. Land. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can finale for six. So they can get a Kogla, fight my beast, kill my Garrick. Wouldn't that be neat? Add some mana. Pay some life. Add some more mana. Pay some more life. Sure. And this is for 12. Fantastic. Good game. Everyone played hard. This is this this casting one spell a game is actually really enjoyable. I would have expected more from this much ramp, but I was a fool. Oh, wow. An actual decent amount of ramp with things to ramp into. I did not actually believe this to be possible. Okay, okay, we're doing something. <laughs> uh, okay, it's Taiga. Green, green. More. Okay. Add two. This guy. Add one. This guy. And then make him a million next turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put him to the pro instant zone. This was my turn to shine. Everybody gets one, you know? Oh, we just win that game. All right, I don't... All these games have been super, just super interactive and enjoyable. <whistles> Sunny D, it'll burn your throat.
<sighs> oh, you never have to first pick dream halls. You just let it come to you. Just let the dream halls. See, this is an interesting hand. We have double red for if we draw a sneak. We also have to draw a thread, but we also have a bunch of ramp here. So this is one, two. Like this is like one, two, three, four, five, five man on turn three. They went to six. I'll keep it, man. I don't know. I don't know. This is probably a bad hand. We're probably going to lose. It's probably going to suck. We're probably not going to have fun. But you know what? I don't know. Beautiful. Just need that sneak attack now. Coming in hot. A hundred point two percent of the time. That's pretty good. Sneak attack. Mana vault. Wall of Rudy Tooties. No reason to take a counter off this guy just by playing a land. Wait, is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? This is eight mana. We're actually not terribly far off from just hard casting Willamog with this mana vault. Yep, six mana card. Five mana card. That's what I meant. Okay, weird, weird choice, but all right. I love it when they attack with, like, a creature that obviously can't get through. And, like, the only reason you're doing that is in case I, like, literally have a, a like, a mental block where, I, like, I just can't physically put this in. Like, you're just trying to get those extra points in. So I'm actually wondering, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we take off nine mana to untap this. One, two. And we're just going to play Kogla here. And Do I need more green? I do need more green, so I just should have played. I should have just played Stomping Ground. I mean, this is still tapping for four mana, six if you play a land, so. And I do have enough mana to make Kogla indestructible if I had a human. I do not. Yep, there's seven mana. <laughs> there's nine mana. <laughs> oh, good times. There's a new gun. Negative six. Get rid of everything. Yep, feels good. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, I think next turn we're just going to untap our mana vault. <laughs> Finale for one. Sounds good. This is seven mana, eight mana. Yep. That would have been sweet. That that should have been what we did. 
If only I knew I was going to draw a questing beast, I could have attacked them, killed their, their Ugin. Now they still get an extra turn with it, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to do it now. Just a Nissa. Yep, cool. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time. One, two, three, four. Can't do both. Now, who are we? Are we getting rid of the Nissa? This guy could then negative four, puts him to one. I don't think I want them making a three three next turn that can block. Sure, if you want a negative four, negative four. I guess they could also attack with forest and then plus the Ugin. It's got vigilance. I mean, they could do that anyway. Yeah. Oh, interesting. They didn't even try to do that. Kitty cats, you got it. Really? Don't attack. Even though Noble Heart gives Exalted. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Yep. Having Ulamog and Oko in hand is just actual perfect. So we attack, they go activate, activate, crew, probably block. Then they lightning bolt our blocker. Yeah, we're just not going to beat a Nugan. I just don't care anymore. Well, this deck has, has turned out absolutely atrocious, unfortunately. I love starting with Ramunap. Excavator, Crucible of Worlds, Exploration, um, Mana Vault, and then just actually not getting any of the actual components for that deck. That's always super fun. It just feels like a waste of a draft. I'm like, cool, I picked a bunch of cards that sets me in a particular archetype, but the archetype is actually blank if you don't get these pieces. If you don't get a Strip Mind or a Wasteland or a Fast Bond or... <sighs> Any of the components that make that archetype shine. Hmm. Snap keep this one. At least we have two really good four drops. And before they kill our mystic and we never hit a fourth land. Misplaying is rough, but honestly, I'd rather misplay than have my opponent have everything perfectly and also just like not draw the cards I need. Like, I would rather misplay and have the fault be my own than, like, knowing, like, okay, cool, I just drew very, very poorly this game. And then they literally always had an answer for, like, what I played. No, I know you meant for yourself. I didn't think you were referring to me. I'm just saying, like, when it comes down to misplaying, like, I actually prefer to misplay because then it's on me. Then I'm like, I should have done this differently. Winning with it was within my grasp. Like, I'd rather know that then think like I couldn't have won this game even if I tried because then it just kind of feels like useless. It kind of feels like, okay, great. Okay. I, I think we just run out beast first. 
Actually, I do like Chariot. I like Chariot first because they're not going to see Beast coming. So if they want to throw like a Planeswalker down, you know, that's fine. Throw that shit down. Oh my god, that day nine, that day nine. <laughs> Is that Sheriff or Despy? <laughs> uh, okay, they have two mana up. That's unfortunate. Can they daze? I think we're just taking two. I don't feel like not taking two. Let's say done. I don't think you can crew this, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just bust them in. They could Snapcaster and crew, but if they want to do that just to block an Elvish Mystic, like that seems terrible. Uh-oh. They still don't have any creatures with five mana and a Zurin orb. I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm confused. Play a little Liberato. <laughs> it's a bad line, but it's a line. They see me crewing, attacking. Look at me, I played some cards. Yeah, do, 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 do. got to play these cards. Yeah, got to cover this cat. Oh, they're paying some costs. Orcish Bowmasters. Sure. Yeah, I actually should have. I meant to tap that so I could actually activate this and kill this and still play Sylvan Library, but that is not how it went. I mean, it still feels like a lot of damage. Also, maybe I don't want Sylvan Library when they play Bowmasters. So maybe that's just, maybe I actually helped myself. So I got a two here? They got a Wrath of Board, right? Oh, I guess we still have a Seekers Chariot, though, if they do. I mean, nothing to crew it with. Look, just don't Wrath the Board, I guess, is really what I'm asking here. Okay, we, we won a game. We won a game. We won a game. So let me know what you think of this. Some of the drafts that I get a little saltier in, I don't feel super comfortable posting on YouTube because I don't think it's the best representation. So I was thinking of saving those drafts and posting them as Patreon exclusives so I could stick those videos on Patreon for anyone who missed them. And you're going to get a little more salt and a little more irritation in those drafts. But I think it still could be entertaining and it's still a way to get extra content. So I don't know. Is that something anyone would care about? I'll keep this hand. Turn two, Sylvan Library. I like, I like saying turn two, Sylvan Library. Like it doesn't cost two and it's like some kind of special feature I'm getting. 
I can play a turn two Sylvan Library? Wow. That's wild. Oh, wow. Well, down here, salt is a way of life. You know what they say. What if you made a compilation of your saltiest moments together? <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't want to have to go through them and cut that. So compilations are hard for me because my least favorite thing about, about video stuff is editing. Like, I just hate editing. It's so tedious and so specific. It drives me insane. And it's, I think it's actually one of the reasons that I'm not super fond of using like programs like Unity. Because I just don't like that level of meticulousness in programs. I feel like the money I would make off the compilations is less then I would have to pay an editor to do that, which is why I just generally avoid it. Like, my videos don't get enough views as they are to to uh, warrant any kind of editorial uh, input or assistance. Also, like, I don't want my, my, my image to be like of a bunch of salty videos. Like that doesn't sound like fun. I don't want to be like the boogie of, of MTG drafting and cubes and cube streams. MTG power. Have a great afternoon, buddy. Appreciate the support, my dude. Okay. They have one card in hand and nothing exciting going on except for this Jace. We cannot play any four drops. So I actually think we just, I think we take Questing Beast to put a land back. And then play this, crack it for Savannah so that we have a white source. Yeah, like, I don't want to be the, the salt embracer. I just don't want to throw the content out, is that, if that makes sense. Um, Let's actually get Plateau, because it's a second red source if we happen to get a sneak attack. And we're going to have plenty of green, theoretically. They see me rolling. They hate it. Yeah, we'll just take the two. I wonder if we can win one match here. That'd be decent. I'd be okay with one Macharino. Oh, a Tamio. Get back that preordain. Oh. Interesting. What do you name? Time Walk. They always name Time Walker Ancestral. Displacer Kitten. They did not hit. That's fascinating. See, this is why we kept Questing Beast in hand. Oh, Sneak Attack is fascinating. Do we hit an Ulamog off of the... Uh, that would be 
Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it! Lucky, 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 lucky. Uh, put that on top. Pay four. Play a land. One, two, three, four. Big sneakums. Just gotta survive the turn, you know? Oh, we just win. <laughs> I guess we survived. <laughs> All right. Well, one, two, not the, not the record we were hoping for, especially with those first two rounds, but we got to sneak one Ulamog and sometimes that's all you can ask for, you know? Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.